do you feel like getting out of the streets in Chicago, rapping is like one of the only way outs? Like, hell no. Nah. I feel like, cause nobody really do it for real. Like, I feel like some rappers do it for real in the rap. Like, it's some people that really perfect their craft and really raw with the shit. A lot of niggas from Chicago, they just make back and forth music to say fuck the other side. It be fuck the other side music. Especially with seeing like how niggas like Chief Keef got on off the shit. It kind of encouraged the balance of people to be like, oh yeah, so I can say fuck the other side and I might can get millions of dollars from this shit. So it kind of started a wave where like, the, man, like, because even the drill rap back then, it was like, remember back when like niggas used to make songs back and forth, it was just like some, it got global making songs back and forth. So it started ping ponging for real. So niggas yeah. started just, you know, it turned the balance up and it turned the music up for sure, for sure. So seeing that firsthand, like watching the Chief Keefs blow up, you know, we're talking like 2010, 2012 era. Yeah. You know, JoJo coming out. Like, what was it like firsthand seeing that violence? Like I was in the system? middle. I was in the middle, literally. I was in the middle because I didn't have no problem with you keep them. I didn't have no problem with JoJo them, but they had problems with each other. Like yeah. I was like Blackstone, like never like so. So it's like it was different because everybody, this was the GD versus BD war. But I'm Blackstone, so I put the fuck with modem. But it's people on on Chief you side that I fuck with because I I used to get kicked out of every school I went to. I never failed the grade, but I got kicked out of every school though. So I used yeah. to go to all the bad schools around the city. So all the niggas that's doing bad shit know each other. So I had people that's cool over this side. But then I got people that's cool on this side. So then when I moved to, I moved over there in like JoJo them area, it was like people like, oh, that's dude. So like, I just got cool with them. It was just like uh, me getting cool kind of just put me in the midst of the shit. So it made it seem like I was picking a side. But even during yeah. that whole time, I still be over there with Chief Wook. Like you can ask him like, like, like Wook sound a dirt right now. And Wook was out coming to his crib in the middle of the war. It's war time. Our hoods into it. I'm at Wook crib smoking weed, chilling, talking about, Man, you know what I'm talking about, though? Like, it was like, I always was like, not saying playing both sides, but I'm a nigga where like, if you ain't do shit to me, I really don't got nothing to do with that. But if you my homie, I'm going to ride with you. So sometimes I have a homie on this side, I'll ride with him. And I got a homie on this side, I'll ride with him. It's like, I was low-key just playing a real dirty, dirty game. But like, fuck that, I'm reckless, though. So like, how can I not, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, do something. You don't like what's going on. Like, I always had that mentality. Like, I always had a mentality. Like, you got to kick my ass. Like, you can't just tell me that shit high. I'm going to have to touch that motherfucker, you know? Yeah. And what's crazy, too, is like you see a lot of these interviews and, and stories and stuff from artists from both sides who were actually like cool with each other. Like.